He busted him flat. Why did he have a handcuff? In the state of Alabama, it's a felony to conceal or carry a handcuff key into a jail facility or correction facility. So we have a situation. Donovan was down in intake, and he was getting strip searched, and they found a handcuff key on him. We don't know what to do next. We did it. I gave him a handcuff key. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Why? Well, with all the bad things y'all found the first time, I wanted to see if we fix some of it. You look at Donovan. He has nothing on him that says police, or he looks more like a meth cooker than he is anything. Long beard, long hair, look like we got him out of the backwoods of Kentucky, and that's one to do it with. So wait, but what, what's going to happen to him? He good. goes right back in, just a regular unit, like nothing ever happened. I don't know what's going on, but after sitting in there worrying to death, not being able to do anything, they take me out of SEG, and they take me on a long walk up to the pod. So uh, I kind of settled in a little bit. Okay. And decide, okay, it's time to get to work now. Chad is my cellmate. Um, he's my bookie. He washed my dishes. Is there a term, like a jail term, for what that is? A hoe, a do boy. Do boys get protection in exchange for services. I see a uh, crossword puzzle book on the seal's desk. I'm like, I want that. I know I'm not going to get it. Chad is definitely an expert thief. He he know how to, he, he can get what he wants. So get it, boom. Take it in the wrong, we good, good. You know, come off of it now? Come off of it. Gonna have to stare down, or you just gonna go ahead and piss up? Up here you go. In the facility, there's several cameras mounted within every pod. I believe the other CEOs from another area are watching the cameras. If you get caught stealing something from the CO desk, there's no outside charges. You do a week to two weeks in the hole. Did I take it a step too far? No, no. I don't feel like there's no boundary. There, there, there's no <gasps> X all that out. If you feel that way, I'm sorry for you. Turn the channel. Can you tell me what you're doing today? I'm getting arrested and going to jail today. When the lady approached me, she was like, oh, I got to go strip search you or whatever. And I was like, OK, no problem. But then going into the holding cells, like, none of these people have been strip searched. Two of them told me that they had drugs on them. And I knew then that the unit was going to be hell. I'm ready to go and get it started. Do you remember your signals? Signals? My back is killing me. Now, that's a little tricky one for me. Um, so my back and neck always hurt. A million things are running through my mind. Before I can even turn to look at the guard at the counter, I have people coming up to me. Are you holding? What did you get in? As soon as I told him no, it was it. I was forgotten. It was probably about 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, shift change. The CO on shift that night was a little older. I feel like they don't have much training here. Eventually, we started coming out to eat dinner. But I kind of glance up, and at the top of stairs is Booney, who I know is a lockdown inmate. So she's not supposed to be out with everybody else when we're eating. CO sprayed Booney, and I was just like, you know, riot mentality. You know, it wasn't until about, I think, about five in the morning, I got a new cellmate. What's your name, bro? Huh? Mark. Mark. Tony, My new cellmate, Tony, is um, he's been dealing with drugs and arrest his whole life. I realized this is the perfect cellmate to have. I mean, within hours, 
we were talking about finding something to get high. Billy! Billy! But who be up with you, man? I can't hoot you by the end of the day. I'm feeling great about the mission. I feel that I am going to be able to be successful. This is it. But I have a serious problem. <sighs> Pretty much since I laid on that bed Friday, my body's just not handling it.